Hey, hey, welcome to the Peak of Geek, where we've hit the top, but with no plans to stop. And today, we are talking about, wait for it, we are, we are on the cruise. We are, that's right, we are talking about One Piece. And I don't know why, but 2023 feels like the year of One Piece. Maybe it has to do with the Netflix series that's dropping very soon on August 31st, or maybe it's the fact that so many things that were introduced so early in the manga are finally paying off in the series. It's a great time to be a fan. Huh? What? One Piece of what? For those of you out there who are completely lost, One Piece is a Japanese manga and anime series written and illustrated by Eiichiro Oda. It's been serialized in Weekly Shonen Jump since 1997, and it's still going strong. Oh, shonen manga are action-adventure stories typically targeted towards boys, but in actuality, the comics are appreciated by all ages and genders, and it's still the most popular genre of manga today. And come to think of it, this is actually my 20th anniversary with this series. I first started reading One Piece when it made its North American debut in the pages of Monthly Shonen Jump back in 2003. I remember first reading it in issue 2, I actually missed the first one, and I was blown away from the first pages. Its eye-catching cartoon design immediately grabbed my attention, simply because there was nothing else quite like it. It's pretty well known that Oda was very much inspired by Akira Toriyama of Dragon Ball fame, but Oda's artistic style is absolutely all him. And it's actually the perfect time to be a One Piece fan. From the teaser trailer, to the official trailer, to the behind-the-scenes video that was released recently, the live-action series had so many iconic moments represented in live-action, I honestly can't wait. Wait, stop. I know what you're thinking. Netflix's live-action animes are not that great. Uh, the Death Note series was pretty awful. Uh, I would personally stick to the Japanese original. Cowboy Bebop had its moments. Hit the style, didn't really hit the substance. But One Piece just feels different. It looks different. It looks so accurate, and please be good. Please be good. There's hope. You know there's hope. All right, maybe I'm breathing in too much hopium, but at least Oda was heavily involved from a creative standpoint, so it does have that going for it. And if Oda's happy, I'm happy. In anticipation of the upcoming Netflix adaptation, I've actually been watching through the original East Blue Saga with my partner. If you don't know, the East Blue Saga is essentially what they're adapting as season one for the One Piece series. And from the list of episode titles alone, they should be able to cover all the major East Blue Saga highlights in this eight episode first season. But since this show doesn't have a demo Gorgon in it, I'm doing everything in my power to not get my hopes up for a second season. For all the new One Piece fans out there, I know you exist. Here are seven reasons why I think One Piece is the greatest shonen anime of all time. Why seven? I mean, I don't know. Why not? Number one, it's an adventure story. For those of you who know absolutely nothing about One Piece, it stars 17-year-old Monkey D. Luffy, whose dream it is to be the king of the pirates and find the One Piece. But what is the One Piece? I mean, that's the whole point of the series, so eventually we'll all find out together. My guess is that it's not actually treasure, but more likely the power of the friends we made along the way, or some other such nonsense. Now I know what you're thinking, these aren't your typical pirates. They're less terrorize and plunder and murder people, and more adventure seekers who want to help people and maybe find some treasure along the way. There's a reason why the first chapter of One Piece is called Romance Dawn. That doesn't mean there's a lot of romantic love in this series. In this case, Oda adopts the historical definition of the word, more so referring to a romantic adventure between friends. Number two, it stars a lovable but dumb shonen protagonist. What's interesting about Luffy is that, yes, he is very, very, very dumb, but he can also be very, very, very serious when he needs to be. Personally, I would argue that Luffy is probably the most dumb and the most serious when compared to other shonen style protagonists. And this juxtaposition is the essence of his character, and why we love him so much. We're facepalming his stupidity in one scene, but then getting completely caught off guard by his epic but simple speeches. It makes for a character that feels a bit less generic in a market flooded with these types of heroes. Number three, from the beginning, the characters are actually super strong. Yes, the big three, Luffy, Zoro, Sanji, but everybody is strong in their own unique way. When I first started reading One Piece way back in 2003, I was actually blown away by how strong the characters were. Yes, they still have to power up and level up to fight stronger and stronger enemies, but from the beginning, they were already freakishly strong. 
It also makes One Piece very interesting from a narrative perspective, because in the early days, Oda always had to come up with clever ways to delay or hinder his characters, because in most situations, those fights would end very, very quickly. Number four, One Piece is actually really funny. Yes, there are still some perverted jokes, which are a bit cringy and not my favorite, but there are lots of physical comedy moments that call back to the golden age of cartoons. There's so many great visual gags that really call attention to One Piece's creative art style. Some of my favorite visual gags are Luffy's impressions of his crew members. They're both accurate and ridiculous, and are a great way to break up the more serious moments during the adventure. Number five, the incredible attention to detail. There are characters, places, and situations that are seeded in so early in the series that are only just now starting to pay off. What a way to reward longtime readers and watchers. And honestly, it makes this series that much more fun to reread, rewatch, or just revisit in general. Number six, those hard hitting emotional moments. There are certain things that happen in this series, no spoilers, but when I think about them, I get literal goosebumps, and sometimes I even cry. And more importantly, the moments are worth it. I watch a lot of content, and I can tell when someone's trying their hardest to make me cry. It just feels cheap or hollow. But every emotional moment in One Piece feels earned. And number seven, One Piece constantly reinvents itself without sacrificing the story or its characters. Throughout the years, it has gone through so many different genres, from comedy to fantasy to science fiction, mystery, suspense, Japanese period drama, and even a part that reminds me of Toontown from the movie Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Trust me, you'll never get bored. And that's it. If somehow I've convinced at least one of you to give One Piece a try, I'll consider this a win. When you love something so much, you just want to share it with the world. I want more people to love this series. And hopefully, the Netflix series does just that. Whether it's good, whether it's bad, whether it's just fine, I'm excited. And I can't believe they're actually including the Den Den Mushi or Snailophone or whatever. That's so weird, but so awesome. You'll see what I mean. And before we wrap things up, if I could give you one piece of advice, sorry, sorry, it would be to start reading the manga instead of watching the anime. Like many long-running anime series, there's a lot of filler, but more so pacing issues. Keep in mind there are over a thousand episodes of anime to watch, so it's a bit of a time investment. So I'm personally a faster reader than I am a watcher, so that's my advice to you. Take it or leave it. Uh, and just my final parting words are to Netflix. Please, 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 Netflix. I hope you didn't mess this up. Please. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching this episode of The Peak of Geek. If you do end up checking out One Piece, I hope you love it as much as I do. This series really is something special. I can't believe we'll all be watching the live action adaptation so soon. I guess I'll see you all on the other side. Until next time, keep chasing your dreams.